Michelle Welch with Lincoln Public Schools, the registered dietitian that is the wellness facilitator for the school district. One thing that we're doing during February is we are having Super Snack Power Challenge for this quarter, for third quarter of schools. And so today I wanted to talk just a little bit about what's happening within about half of our schools, which is they're doing what I call Project Orange. Project Orange is an opportunity for students to taste different types of oranges. They maybe have only ever had exposure to one type of orange, and we want them to see there's lots of different things that can work really well for them in having variety and enjoying the fruits of winter, which sometimes can seem a little hedgy for us as parents. So uh, one thing that you can do at home is you can play right along with us. All you need to do is buy a couple different varieties of oranges and do a taste test with your family at snack time. So today I'm gonna to show you a variety of oranges that we have with us. I have the old standard Clementine oranges that are easy to peel for, for kiddos. If you wanna cut oranges, the standard navel orange, but there are lots of other varieties such as tangelos or honey tangelos you'll see. Sometimes they'll be called miniola tangelos. Cara cara oranges and then the Moreau oranges are sometimes called blood oranges. So if you have any vampires in your family, that is the perfect orange for you. Keep that vitamin C up and get you a little bit of what you're looking for. So I'm gonna show you just an example of how I like to do my oranges because I don't like to peel oranges. I hate getting those orange peels underneath my nails. So I just wash off the outside of my oranges. I cut off both ends because I don't wanna have a bunch of rind to hold on to. And then when you look at the inside of what they call a blood orange or Moreau orange, you'll notice it's much different than the standard oranges that you see in front of me. It has a darker color. Some people say it has a little bit of a raspberry flavor to it, but then I just simply cut them into little slices. It makes it easy for everyone to eat and put them on a plate and you're ready to go. So don't be afraid to kind of mix up your fruit a little bit. For students when they come home, we all know as parents, and even when we were kids, you're starving when you come home and you want to have a snack. Typically part of that is we're so thirsty. Kids really need to drink more and they need to have a nice glass of water when they come home in addition to having a snack that's healthy for them. Lots of different foods beyond oranges can be a great option for kids for snacks, but what we want to keep in mind are these two big pieces. Having them choose healthy foods that are typically foods you as a parent would choose for them to have during mealtime too. Things like apples or bananas, items such as uh, trail mixes that are a healthier trail mix, lots of different options, even cheese sticks or a nice yogurt. All those can be great choices for our kiddos to choose for their snack when they come home. And really helping them to right size their snack is the other piece. So we want them to first choose healthy foods, but second, if they're coming home and they're just going to sit around and watch TV, they just need a little snack. If they're getting ready to go to a big sports practice or something, they may need to have something like a half a turkey sandwich and a yogurt before they head out to support their next couple hours of being active. So really keep in mind helping your students to right size their snack. If you see a challenge come home, you can really take advantage of that to be a good guide. Otherwise, you can go to lps.org backslash wellness and click on the Super Snack Power Challenge that will give you all the information so you can play along at home. For Lincoln Public Schools, Michelle Welch, Registered Dietitian here in Lincoln, have a great day and a bright and healthy future. Thank you. Shape of the City is dedicated to helping Lincoln stay informed of health and wellness topics and events. Visit our calendar at lincoln.ne.gov, keyword 10health. If you'd like to see your event covered, Email us at 10healthlincoln at gmail.com.